ASP.NET version 8 is now officially released. Today I'm going to show you how to install this new SDK and you can move from your current project that we pre-made with uh, .NET 6 or 7 to the new .NET 8. Without further ado, let's see how we can do that. First of all, you can go and visit the .microsoft.com or you can visit the first link from the description. It will uh, direct you there. I'm going to click it here. Inside, I will see that there will be now this .NET 8.0, which is now the current version. And you can see that there will be a bunch of SDKs to choose from. And as I'm using Windows, I'm going to choose the appropriate package to install on my Windows machine. You can see that I'm having this SDK and the runtime. So I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to click on the uh, Windows version for 64 bits. And then I will get the installer that can be uh, that can be used to install this SDK. So I'm going to click on start download and the download can take a moment. So let's wait until it's done and then we will continue with the instruction processes. Okay, cool. And once the download is complete, I'm going to go to where my where the file is located and I'm going to start now the installer. It will be looking like this one. And once now the installer is started, I can go ahead and click on install. And then I'm going to authorize this to start the installation and then I have to wait a couple of moments for this installation to go through. And I'm going to come back when this is done and they will continue with other processes. All right. And once the installation is successful, you can see that they will, these, package, these packages were installed. We can verify if now we have those ones. So I'm going to open the CMD and inside the CMD, I'm going to type .NET. And I'm going to type info like this one and can show you all the information about the .NET version that you have on your machine. Because that I'm having this .NET 7 as my SDK and this one, the current one that we pre-installed. And I'm going to open up the Visual Studio code to see if I'm going to, uh, if I can be able to create the project by using .NET 8. And for that, we'll be sure that our SDK was successfully installed on our machine. So once now this is opening, I can go ahead and create a new project and wait for a moment until all the templates get loaded. And I can choose, for example, let me choose the web API as my template. I'm going to click on next and I can give it a random name like um, uh, donate donate eight taste like this one and click on next again and you can see that i can choose among these sdks and you can see that also i'm having this dotnet 8 and i can go ahead and create a new project by using this dotnet 8 and this indicates that our sdk was successfully installed let me know if you met with any problem during this installation i will i am here to help you so if you like this video go ahead and press the like button and if you're coming on this channel for the first time make sure you subscribe i'm going to to make a lot of videos regarding .NET framework and be in touch from now on till next time Cheers.